next topic of discussion is how to calculate the formal charge of an element. So let's use carbon as an example. Calculate the formal charge of each carbon atom for these three situations. If you know how to do it, feel free to go ahead and try it. Now there's a formula that will help you to calculate the formal charge of an atom. And here it is. The formal charge is going to be equal to the number of valence electrons of the element minus the number of bonds and dots attached to that element. So for the first example, carbon has four bonds. I mean, let me say it again. Carbon has four valence electrons. It's in group 4A of the periodic table. And in this example, it has three bonds, one, two, three, and it doesn't have any dots around it. So four minus three is one. So this particular carbon atom has a formal charge of plus one. So we could say that it has a positive formal charge. Now moving on to the next one, it's going to be four valence electrons minus three bonds and one dot. So we got three bonds, one dot, that's four minus four, so that's zero. So this one is neutral. It doesn't have a charge. Now for the last example on the right, the valence electrons of carbon will still be the same. We still have three bonds, but this time we have two dots. One lone pair is equivalent to two dots. So three plus two is five, four minus five is negative one. So this particular carbon atom has a negative charge. We said that positive, let me say that again. We said that positively charged ions are called cations and negatively charged ions are known as anion. When you add a carbon to it, this is called a carbocation. And on the right, this is called a carb anion. Carb anions have negative charges. Now, when you have an odd number of electrons, you have what is known as a radical. So a one carbon radical is known as a methyl radical. Radicals tend to be neutral. 